and we're back. Uh, so today we're going to talk about VCAs. Um, so if you're a beginner to your rack, you always pe hear people say, you can never have enough VCAs. Uh, so we're going to actually demonstrate why <laughs> and try to answer that question. Um, why can't you have enough VCAs? Uh, so let's start from the most basic use of it. Um, <clears throat> you'll notice in the previous videos, I was sort of like live mixing by unplugging. So it's like, oh, here's a sound. Yay, sound. And then I have to unplug it. So let's sort of think about this as how much, right? So if an oscillator, this is what shape. So I have two oscillators. What we're say asking from these is what shape. It can be an elect. It's all an electrical shape, right? So it can be audio rate, which means we can hear it, or it can be low frequency oscillator oscillator rate, which means it's too low for us to hear, but it's still an electrical signal changing the sound. It's going to become a lot more obvious today what an LFO actually is doing. Um, so this is what shape. VCA, I have two VCAs here. These ask how much. So if I plug in an output here, and I plug in I'm going to take the square wave out of my oscillator and go into input one. No sound. Hmm. That's because I now have a volume knob. So that's our how much. There's lots of different ways to ask how much, right? Um, so it's not just volume. It could be how much of anything. Um, so let's demonstrate a few different ways to look at that. First of all, um, not every VCA is created the same. I like these because they have four knobs and they have a summed output, a mix output. So a four outputs and a mix that's all four. Um, there's lots and lots of different VCAs. You can find, you know, what's called octolinear ones where they don't even have knobs. Um, so it's just, you know, an input and a CV and an output. Um, and those serve you know, the same purpose. So we're, we're going to try to like give you a general idea of what a VCA is doing. Um, I'm going to plug into the mix output. So we're going to say how much. I'm going to go out of the zigzag waveform, go into channel two. I'm going to go out of the sine wave. Now let's do triangle. Triangle wave into channel three. Remember, the question is, we're asking how much, right? So I can say, how much square wave? How much zigzag? How much triangle? So now we've got like a little mixer here. So that's another function of a VCA. It's how much. So it's giving us volume knob and some mixer function because we have four channels. Okay, another thought, <clears throat> and then this is where it gets interesting. If you have two oscillators, um, which it's good to have two oscillators because you have some choice in the actual tone of the sound, but oscillators, you know, say what shape, right? So I can say pulse and pulse. And if I turn this up, now I've got rhythm. Um, and because this is a pulse wave, I, ha I can change the pulse width to change the rhythmic variation here. And it doesn't have to be a square wave. It could be any of the waves that come out of this oscillator. sine wave, which in practice is pretty close to a triangle, and there's my saw wave. So pretty cool thing. Another thought, you know, this is LFO, right? We can't actually hear what sound this is making. Like if I plug in a pulse uh, or a sign, a pulse is going to give us rhythm, right? If I plug it in here. You can hear it clicking. 
If I plug in the sign, you don't hear anything because it's not a sharp waveform. So this is a good example of LFO. It's so low that we can't hear it. But it is an electrical signal, so it's functioning on the sound. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Now, with this in mind, we can create what's called AM, so amplitude modulation. All that means is, you know, this is going at LFO speed, below our hearing. If we turn it up to where we can hear it, whoa, we start getting harmonics. which is pretty cool. So I've got two sine waves going, and we've got, you know, not a sine wave sound. There's our sine wave. So this is how AM is created. Um, we're just, we're modulating amplitude. Amplitude is volume. We're modulating it so fast that it's creating harmonics. Or so slow, it's creating volume changes. And we can do a lot with different waveforms. So if we start with different waveforms, we get, you know, different harmonics, basically. And subharmonics. <laughs> so... All a subharmonic is, is it's, you know, this pitch of this oscillator is below this one, but it's, this is the modulator, so we're getting lower stuff. There's volume change, subharmonics, harmonics. Okay, so I hope that gives you some ideas to play with. I hope you understand this. Our rack is growing. Now we've added, you know, uh, two oscillators and a VCA. Um, I'm going to show, you know, what could happen if you have a couple of VCAs.